We're all set to go to Mesa City. Hello everyone. Welcome back to Let's Play Sly Cooper and the Thievius Raccoonus. My name is Parallel Graham and yeah, let's fucking go to Mesa City, you guys. Yeah, rock on. It had been a while since I'd been back in the US. Next up, the notorious mugshot. Ruthless muscle of the fiendish five. What he lacked in brains, he definitely made up for in brawn. Turns out he wasn't always that way. He grew up as the run of the litter. <laughs> the neighborhood. The only friends he could turn to were usually found on the big screen. It was there that he spotted his first gangster, and he knew instantly that that's what he wanted to be. He spent the rest of his youth working real hard to get there, fueled on his dreams of great power and respect. With enough perspiration, he realized that dream. He'd become a hard-boiled, street-brawling, tough-as-nails gangster, ensuring that he'd never be kicked on or pushed around again. City, huh? I've always wanted to go to that thriving American boom town. Yes, yes, whatever. Welcome to what is a semi-parallel of Las Vegas, Nevada, except dogs. Yes, dogs. So apparently this thriving American boomtown is closed for business, but honestly, this place has one of my favorite gimmicks. One of my favorite gimmicks for a main level. Hey, Sly, I thought you said Mesa City was going to be loud and busy. This looks more like a ghost town. Something's happened. Where is everyone? I don't know, but it's starting to give me the creeps. What do you say we take off? And miss all the fun? Besides, I want to try out that new move I got from Raleigh's section of the Thievius Raccoonus. You mean the Ninja Spire Jump? Yeah. Do me a favor and read me the instructions again. To land us safely upon diminutive points, leapeth lively and presseth the triggering device with the round geometrical object emblazoned upon it. So jump and hit the circle button to land on narrow spots. That's a rough translation. Ah, I love this move. Just because it looks so cool, and also because it stays with the, with you for the rest of the series. Which, of course, is neato. Of course, we don't want to just dodge this motherfucker. Get the drop on him. Ha ha, silly jokes. Gosh, look how precarious this whole place is. It's just... Goddamn. You could fall down from so many places. So many. Yes, yeah, slow motion ninja span. Oh fuck you, dog. His bone disappears too, you know. Fuck logic. Fuck it sideways. Before we go up and over, we're gonna go over this pretty little picturesque floating garbage piles. I don't know. These are some pretty narrow places to land in a couple of these spots. Okay. Don't trust cars. Or those things. Because they're wobbly. There's a lot of wobbly, nervous-making shit in this level. And by level, I mean whole series of thematic levels. And alley. Oop. Fuck you, dog. He just sailed right off that cliff. That is animal cruelty. When I first played this game, those guys barging out of the fences, they would scare the shit out of me. I'm, I was very easily startled when I was younger, and I'm still very easily startled. 
What's with those flashy lights? The latest in high-tech security. Electronic floor sensors. Step on them and you're a godder. Nice touch. They're safe to walk on while flashing, but it also means they're about to switch to a different sector. Here we have the floor lasers, which are so much fun, you guys. So much fun. Oh my god. Fucking precarious jumps, man. I can't handle those. Can't handle them. Yeah, the fucking ball and chain dogs. I love the enemies in this game so much. All of them are just so neat and gimmicky and just cartoon villainy. It's good. And this rock is making me nervous and I'm just gonna go ahead and head down. Back to semi-solid ground. Oh, that was a stupid idea. I'm not supposed to go back down. Ha ha. Forgetful old me again. <coughs> Excuse me. Ugh. Quite thirsty. Maybe I really should have practiced this game if I'm gonna be forgetting half of what's... Whoa. What's fucking going on? Don't take your... Duh. Weird glitch. Oh boy, another horseshoe already. Even though the other one was coin based. Get the fuck out. Okay. Here come two more. You can sort of see them behind the fence. And joy of joys, we gotta. Climb a wire. Come on, Sly. Oh, no, we don't. That thing. Hmm. Oh, that's where the safe is. How the fuck do I get onto that thing? Do I just jump? Is that a thing I can do? Looks like it. Okay. I don't know. Somehow I have terrible depth of perception in video games, which makes the least sense. I'm very terrible at judging distance in uh, 3D games. Especially 3D platformers. Oh, and this thing's a shaking and a wobbling and oh. Oh, shit. I just like how it looks. Like, it's just so cool and it's almost dystopian in a way. how Mugshot has taken this gigantic American city and turned it into this barren wasteland full of, you know, gambling dog things. Oh, please don't tell me I missed a clue somewhere. Please don't tell me I missed a clue somewhere. Oh, God. You might be saying, why don't you just use your thing? Well, as it turns out, I can't use my thing because the thing that identified clues was only for Raleigh's hideout. You have to collect one of those in each world. It's sort of like the compass for a dungeon in Zelda. It only works for that specific dungeon. Uh. Where the fuck could I have left this clue? It's probably like on a precarious fucking ledge somewhere, hiding behind something that I didn't pay attention to. <sighs> Gosh, I'm stupid. Y'all just feel free to laugh at me. As you likely are. Or you just shake your head and close the video. Move on to better life. <laughs> That's dead. Hmm. <clears throat> Douchebag clue. Motherfucker, you can't be doing that shit. That's dangerous. Fuck this game. Fuck it with a pitchfork. Sideways. Anyway. Let's go get that safe, shall we? Yes. Mm, good. 
And we'll get on out of here. Oh, sly. Yes, sir, Mr. Bentley, sir. Whoa, dislike. Whoa, whoa. Whoa, wrong number. Ha, <laughs> 314. Sorry, Helms. Homestuck. Homestuck. Outstanding! You've uncovered Robin Cooper's patented explosive hat technique. Use the triangle button to toss your cap, then use the triangle button again to detonate it. Better back off to a safe distance first. No, my God, I love this move, but I really only ever use this move in this world. I honestly don't remember using it very much elsewhere. And I'm thinking of one specific level where it's really useful. But yeah. Oh boy, I am just slow today. I'm all kinds of slow. Real on fucking three one four. Which is just four one three backwards, which is homestuck nerd bullshit. I'm gonna try not to talk about homestuck in my videos because that's not cool. Dramatic dive! Delayed key grab. Should I compose like a badass? And unlock this cryptic looking hatch. Yeah, let's, uh... But, uh, we're gonna save that for next time. You know, suspend you guys a little longer, even though you all probably played this game, and also you probably don't really give any fucks. So, anyway, next time, we head into the heart of Mesa City and confront things and also levels. Anyway, I'm Feral Hologram. I'll see you guys next time. Bye!